Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode six of The Terminalist. What did you think of last episode? Definitely the best episode of the season, I think. A lot happened. Oh yeah. Steve's gone. Katie's on her own. Reese is very much a wanted man. <laughs> Yeah, currently being chased. And the biggest thing is the list has gotten much bigger. Yes. We don't know how big or who exactly is on the list, but there are more people who need to die. <laughs> and he is taking a couple of these names very personally. Oh yeah. There's gonna be a lot more destruction from Reese. I think it's just gonna continue to escalate. It kind of seemed like Reese was maybe pushing some people away a little bit last episode. Maybe he can get some of those people back because I think he's gonna need him. He can't just do this all by himself. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more coming. Yeah, so I'm excited for the next episode. Uh, we only have three left, including this one. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. Two weeks earlier. No, it sounds like a great machine. Oh, yeah. Can we cut trails, the bowl, please, here, James? Okay. You're gonna hear some things in the coming days. People come around with some questions. What are you talking about? Prepping them for the chaos that's coming. I would never do anything to harm them, but somebody did. You do what you need to do, James. <laughs> yeah. Mom's like, kill them. Suspect involved in today's bombing in downtown San Francisco. How do you get out of this? I am not bringing this to you. Oh, Aubrey, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to get you. Negative. It's not gonna fucking work on this guy. <laughs> Can't. Aren't they on a cliff? Yeah. Now they're doing a pit maneuver? Oh, oh. shit. Damn. Does he not get out of this? That was a start. I mean, he's torn through this list without that much resistance. This is like the first time that he might be pretty fucked. Grace! Go! Go, go, go! Oh, jeez. Did he run up the hill? All units, hold what you got, stand by! And that was loud if he just went into the brush. Clear. No one saw him run up the hill, huh? The fuck is going on up there, Agent? We've cornered Reese. Oh no, he doesn't have his medicine. Let me know when you've got a base camp up and running. Copy. That's a terrible thing to leave behind. I need a few more units at the intersection of Deer Park. There you go. That helps. Great first aid kit. Just put something on it. That's not gonna stick to that, right? Ooh. Oh. Don't have your meds. Where the fuck are my pills? He's just gonna like pass out here. Good. He got pretty far. I'm sure you can cover a good amount of ground pretty quickly. Oh wait, they were in San Francisco, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were in LA. I was like, he got all the way up there? <laughs> no. They're already up there. I hope it rains for days. That storm, fucking frogman luck right there. Good thing for rain. Touchdown on his AO. What, and leave the FBI right to him? Oh my god. His night vision's not working? Dog's lost the scent. We'll get him back. Just need more time. We don't have time. Damn. That was a diversion for the dogs? He's strong. Stay put, Liz. And whatever happens in those woods, that's on him. He needs to get back to the truck, though, for his meds. No? Uh, nah, they probably just took it. I think he just needs to get to this airport. Strong man's luck. Now this is getting real bloody. Oof. Oh, what a way to cross him off. Okay, so only three names added. That can't be real. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Given the fact that you couldn't protect your men. Yeah, this asshole. Tarnish your daddy's reputation as a frogman. Negative, sir! Don't you quit on me. Oh, he's gonna kill these two guys. Varsity's here. The big guns? 
The weather's cleared enough to get a C2 bird and drone over the mountains, so we're gonna have eyes in the sky. Damn, they need more rain. I served with them in the SEAL teams. Guy's a legend. This is completely out of character for him. They don't want to do it. If shit pops off out there, I gotta know you're gonna take that shot. Now stay back with the MCC. It's like we'll be a man down. Good. One less guy. If I slow you down, I give you full permission to leave me behind. I don't know if he's gonna keep up. Orienteering, huh? Boy Scouts give you a badge for that? <laughs> Eagle Scouts, Mac. Eagle Scouts. Eagle Scouts. There's no corner man to throw in the towel out here. Towel. I'm just Mac, who do you think you're talking to? I winged him. Reese is injured. How do you think you did it? There was like a dozen people shooting. <laughs> it's getting a little uh, cocky here. It feels like um, Rambo, like a veteran being hunted by police. Like I wonder if Reese is actually going to go to the lengths of shooting any of these people. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if he will. All I was thinking was Predator, he needs to mud himself up because of the heat. Oh, the heat signatures? Yeah. And at least a helicopter is not quiet. Just like this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to hesitate to shoot and kill Reese. Cell signal that just went active. Uh oh. Sending updated GPS now. I was wondering why he was turning his phone on. I wonder if he did that on purpose to send them in a specific direction. Unfortunately, it's his direction. HRT, this is Sentinel. That cell signal is stationary. 20 meters ahead. Okay, stationary signal. There's no way. 10 meters. 5 meters. Oh, shit. He didn't get stepped on? <laughs> Leroy Jenkins? Oh, he just stole his shit. He got my pack. We got him. Headed east from you. Holy crap. I cannot believe he used Leroy Jenkins to <laughs> set up a bomb. HRT, we have multiple heat signatures. Ooh. Putting batteries together at heat signatures? He's in the creek bed. Or is he? Northwest from your position, heading for high ground. Let's go, let's go. Or did he chuck one up the hill? I mean, he, he can't hide, right? From a heat sensor? Oh, not the time. <gasps> I don't know how many batteries he has. Come on, I tagged you. <laughs> Follow your daughter. Ooh, this is making me tired. Yeah, going straight up. This is FBI. Come down now, Commander! We got you pinned, Reese! Do you? He's just going up the hill. Reese! Come talk to me! We can work this out! Get you somewhere safe! Get you some help! Go for it. Fire, fire. On me uphill. Man, they're really not wasting any time to shoot at him. The second they had a glance at him. Oh. going from here and he's running out of options versus pilot come scoop him up right come grab him in a helicopter who is he gonna kill him come on reese you can't do this precision with a rifle requires precision of thought now canoe this motherfucker's head you can't cross that line what does this mean it means he had the shot leyoon how did he get out yeah, of Yeah, where, where did he go? <laughs> These fucking headaches. <laughs> and his other arm is shot. <laughs> I mean, can't they still have him with heat signatures? <laughs> He's going down. <laughs> oh. That was like directly on the edge. Enjoy that tent tonight, Deb. You get anything good in this uh, bag that he stole? Jesus oh. Christ, gentlemen. <laughs> Have a med kit, please. <laughs> Just explosives. Oh, he's gonna flare his wound? I didn't pick up on that right away. Oh, okay. 
No, I thought he was going to... Just... Was it, uh, cauterize? Yeah, he's going to cauterize it. I thought he was just going to shove the flare right there. I guess heating up the knife makes a lot more sense. <laughs> strong just like her mama nope it's not a nightmare she's just gassy <laughs> like her dad <laughs> mm, i miss you maybe when you're in the next room i hope he's not on the real walkie talkie right now i was gonna say since when are monitors two-way i said i can hear you commander fuck <laughs> reese you could have shot me today but you didn't I know you're going through something out of here, but I think you still know I'm not your enemy. None of us are. I mean, you guys tried to shoot him. Yeah, multiple times. Shit, man, it is not fun out here. We have my permission to leave whenever you want, Agent Leon. <laughs> when the people who killed my family are on the fucking ground. What people, Reese? Don't let them, or else they're going to protect them. I tried to have both, to be both. They took her from me. And what would your dad say about what you did in San Francisco? Good job. Say it'd be a mistake to push a man to violence. Violence is what he has dedicated his life to perfecting. Should be asking what his mom would be saying. <laughs> Commander? Nope, that was that was the last word. Reese? I don't know, he gave him one chance with that bullet warning. I don't know if he's gonna give him another. Dropping weight. Still heading north, but tracks have changed. Short of gate. Might be close enough for Loki to find him. Loki? We don't have to wait for C2. They got their own drone? We got our own eyes in the sky. Loki will do his thing. Back on the hunt, Jens. That a river? Just needs to take that river to the airport, I think. Hopefully it's flowing the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Man, he's really missing these meds. The scorched mountain. Into him coming home. This day just ruins him. Oh, Loki. Oh, shit. Loki's down, but well, we got him. He's one click north. That was not quiet. I mean, they already saw him. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to get to this river as quickly as possible. Gotta leave everything. Long way to go still. You're barely moving. Oh, you do have bombs, <laughs> whatever this means. Is this going to cause like a uh... landslide? Yeah, is he going to take a landslide down to this river? That's some like <laughs> it's extreme. It's a lot of hope that that's going to work. It'll get him down quickly and it might make it seem like he died in the landslide. Hands up. Hands up. Where the fuck you come from? Get back. Everyone back. Everyone back. Come on, let him go. You keep your men back. You tell HRT to hold the position. I can't do that, Commander. Well, then he's pulling it. Don't make me kill you. HRT is in position. God, he's so surrounded. Ending with those guys. Oh! Oh! She might be dead. Damn. Fuck, he didn't make it to the river, though. How close is he? I don't know. Or did that other lady die? <clears throat> He's been buried a lot this episode. It's close. Damn, save her or go? She... Savable? Right. Come on, Come on. Wake up, Army. Okay. It's taking a lot of time, though. Wake up, Army. 
Wake up for me, Army. Fuck. <laughs> Good, leave. Where's Reese? Initial reports speculate James Reese is dead. Ah, oh, they're just gonna think he's dead in the mud? Good. Don't leave. Come on, he's gotta be right around the corner. Hey, thought I told you to leave. <laughs> Covered in mud. <laughs> Sorry, Liz. Back to Mexico, more drugs. Maybe get this surgery. Now that everyone thinks he's dead, he might have time to spend six to eight months recuperating. Who's flying this plane? <laughs> it's an autopilot. <laughs> Took me 18 months to rehab my injuries, but still couldn't fly. Blamed myself for it, I did. Wondered what I could have done different. It's a lot of trauma everywhere. How far are we from the jump? I'll let you know when we're close. From the, the jump? The jump? Where are you going? Interesting stuff he's got on his legs. Jumped into that? Guess so. It's Ben. Yeah, did he just jump back into San Diego? <laughs> oh, there were uh, flippers, flippers or something? All right, that was episode six of The Terminal List. What'd you think? That was a very interesting episode. Slow. Yeah, nice and slow, especially because the last episode was just chaos yeah there was a lot going on in the last episode this one we're really just spending a lot of time with reese he's on the run we knew that from the beginning we go back two weeks and we see reese with his in-laws yeah he knows that shit's gonna hit the fan he lets them know that and i loved his mother-in-law's reaction that was so good <laughs> she was clearly a little pissed off at him in the beginning and stuff but then when he was like i'm gonna make all these people pay it was just go do what you gotta do yes that was cool to see and then we're back to the chase and essentially we spent almost the entirety of this episode on that mountain yeah just him on the run yeah it was interesting to see the people that they brought in the military side of it and how they were fully aware of reese and the hesitancy at least from one of them but they were not shy to take shots at reese i mean he did blow up a bomb in a city and kill a couple of people in <laughs> among a bunch of civilians yeah. but yeah they were not shy about taking shots at him mm -mm. and he left that message for them that hey i had the shot and I didn't take it. Yeah, which I like that. I, I kind of said in the reaction that it felt a little bit like Rambo where he's on the run from police and military. And I think the first Rambo, I don't think he kills anyone in that movie. Oh, well, some people die, but they kill themselves technically. But in this one, I had the feeling that Reese wouldn't cross that line to kill these other military or even the FBI people who are chasing him. Yeah, I mean, he did have the opportunity to take the shot. I mean, he thought about it. <laughs> he came close. <laughs> but then we see him go down and honestly, he's in such a terrible position. He's completely surrounded. Really at the end, he's gotta make a choice if he's gonna blow up half this mountain or what he's gonna do. He tries to warn them to get back. Yeah. And you were right. You said, oh, is he gonna blow this up and use this landslide? And I was like, there's no way in hell. <laughs> he had a lot of distance to cover and he was going real slow. Yeah, he was very injured. I, they made that comment about his- Oh, his gait? Yeah. Yeah, that was super steps, interesting. But exploding the side of that mountain, he goes down to that landslide, but he takes army with him. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> and it goes back to him not taking the shot and Reese is really only after the people who were involved in the situation. He's not killing just side people for no reason. So, or even just to get away. Right, or even just to escape, exactly. Uh, he probably could have lost them a lot earlier if he was actually taking shots at them. Yeah, and he took the opportunity, he made that conscious decision to not just leave. Yeah, no, he saved her life, whether they realized it or not but he made it to the river. He made it back to the airport. I really like Ben kind of had commentary to the pilot early on talking about like, look, the weather, this is exactly what he wants for the rain. A 70% Reese is better than 100% someone else. 
Like, you just got to be patient and wait. And this is what he's trained for. Yeah. And that moment when she's listening to the news and she thinks that he's dead. And all of a sudden he's like, comes out and he's like, I told you to leave. <laughs> like, that was a sweet moment. Um, I really like their friendship. And she always has his back. Yeah. I mean, his friends up until this point have been crucial to him, everyone. So it was definitely a really fascinating episode to see him on the run. There's a ton of great moments, like the Leroy Jenkins thing. I don't know if you've ever seen that or not. It's just like this meme, uh, it's this video game called World of Warcraft, where everyone was, it's a, a real people that they're waiting to um, like move in to defeat a boss or something. And they all have to like, have this plan and set and everything. And then one guy just screams Leroy Jenkins and runs in on him by himself and just kind of fucks everything up. So it's just kind of like a, a thing that you say when you like charge in. Uh, so that was just hilarious that they threw in Leroy Jenkins. I would never imagine a World of Warcraft reference in this military show. But yeah, no, it was great to see him, you know, going through the techniques of covering up the mud or with the batteries, the flare to kind of cauterize his wound. Mm -hmm. I think the most interesting part was we had an episode where he didn't have his medication and that heavily played into everything that went on. Yeah, we're seeing what's going on in his brain. Like the medication isn't blocking out all of these hallucinations, um, which then in turn gets him on the walkie talkie. That was bad. Yeah. Thankfully nothing happened. Yeah. But he had that conversation of like, this is over when I'm done. He has that list, but I mean, he is so beyond like a wanted man from where he's been in past episodes. Even once he finishes this list, there's not much to come back from. That's no. why I, like, as this season goes on, I'm wondering like, is this just going to be a mini series? Because for whatever reason, I expected a lot more names to be on the list. There's only three names left. Right. He's not doing anything about this tumor. I thought he would take this opportunity when he was thought to be dead to then get the help that he needed and recover and stuff. He doesn't need to be so worried about constantly being on the run if everyone thinks he's dead. But no, I mean, he got dropped off right back in San Diego. No one knows he's back there. Ben was waiting for him to pick him up. Like he's going straight back in. And there's only three people left. And I think all three of those people are in San Diego. So this might resolve itself and then he might just die. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the only kind of cover that he has is that people think he's dead. So maybe people's guards will be down. That's true. But he still has like a very, like his face is gonna be plastered over everything like that conversation with Katie in the last episode. So we got to hear a little bit, at least Katie's alive, she's okay. Yeah, thankfully. But I don't know. And this is still all needs to come together with Madam Secretary, so. There's still a lot of story left to be told. It's gonna to be interesting to see how that affects. I mean, she didn't get her bill passed, so she'll maybe try again, but the people that were involved, at least the people left on the list, those weren't main players, really. They were just kind of profiting off of what Steve was doing. So right. it's not like we have this big bad that's left. So once he wipes out these three dudes, unless there really is someone that we haven't seen before who was above Steve, that to me kind of concludes everything. Right. But like you said, even though people think he's dead, his face has to be so plastered everywhere. It's gonna be pretty difficult for him to kind of move around San Diego without immediately being caught. Right. Those three on the list are absolutely dead. Oh, they're dead for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna see a lot more like kind of team up, I guess, with Ben at this point. Probably, yeah. And we still need to know the significance of the bird. Yeah, I mean, we've seen that whole scene every single episode, it feels like. I don't know if that's just maybe, it's nothing more than just the most vivid memory he has, or if there's something else. Maybe there's some clue or something hidden in this that's going to unlock some next storyline or something, maybe. There's something more to this or we're just seeing it over again because they just filmed in one location. I don't know. It could be as simple as that. I mean, they are essentially like kind of using it also to show us what's going on in his mind. Yeah. All the details are constantly changing. That's true. This past time he was like on the outside looking in on himself and his family. So it could just be about that and his ever-changing mind with this tumor, but I feel like there has to be more significance to it. I mean, he did have some interesting dialogue with the pilot about having to get them out of his head, that yeah. they're becoming, they're in the way. Right. Which is crazy because you're doing this for them or because of them. Uh, I thought he was directly referencing his tumor, but 
I think he was referencing them and the memories that he's having keep getting in the way. Yes. The pilot had, you know, a lot of dialogue too about the trauma and the difficulty of moving past things. It's also interesting that we have these characters that are dealing with these horrible experiences and the overall drug that fucked everything up was a drug that was intended to suppress or eliminate or block all this PTSD. Right. So it's just, it's crazy how everything is tying together so far. Yeah. This was a slower episode. We didn't make a ton of progress on like what he's trying to do. No, it was just escaping the ramifications of last episode. Right. So very interested to see. I'm sure it's gonna ramp back up again. Oh yeah. Especially when he starts kind of directly going after these men that he knows he has relationships with. Yeah, in the military. I mean, a lot of these people that he's been killing are just bodyguards or corporate people or mm -hmm. something. I, this might be the first few people that are like high, high up in the military. Yeah. yeah. Which it's just going to continue to escalate things. Yeah. So I'm really excited. We only have two episodes left and I think it's going to be full force. Like we said, he's back with Ben. He's back in San Diego. He's got his meds. He's ready to rock and roll. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy. I'm excited to see where the season ends. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.